so this is the seventh question it says calculate the acceleration of a body which starts from rest this is a important information starts from rest and travels 87.5 meters so this is check the units si unit fair enough and in 5 seconds so in is missing here in 5 seconds okay so calculate the acceleration of a body which starts from rest so hence let's write down what is given so basically you have to find out acceleration so this is not known and starts from rest that means initial velocity initial velocity of the object is is equal to u is equal to 0 okay so it's always good to draw a representative diagram so let us draw a diagram so here is the let's say this is the straight line in which the body is moving let's say it starts from a goes to b okay and says that travels 87.5 meter in 5 seconds so let's say we start from t equals to 0 and t is equal to 5 is the window i am talking about here what information is given u is 0 and here v is unknown not known so put a question mark acceleration is also unknown but this distance s this distance s is known it's given how much is it s is clearly given here see 87.5 meters and it is in si unit so this is what i would be taking care of while solving now let's go back to our calculation so initial velocity is zero and uh, t is equal to 5 seconds so write 5 seconds and s is equal to how much 87.5 meters now how do we approach this so one way most of students do is they first write down the three equations so v is equal to u plus at is the first equation of motion second one is s is equal to ut plus half a t squared and the third one is v square is equal to u squared plus twice a s isn't it so this is what uh, are the three things and and we have already always been taught that okay find out where all data is given so uh, if you check this is a very simple case that s is participating in these two so obviously one of these could be handy but here v is not known so hence you can eliminate this equation so what is left this one so let's try that one so s is equal to ut plus half a t squared is the equation to be used here it need not be that straightforward every time but here in this case it's very very simple so you can always uh, use that approach but if let's say there is more intricacies involved so you have to break down the problem into multiple parts and apply these motion equation individually we'll take those kind of problems also not now okay so now it is fair enough very very simple 87.5 deploy the values usually i suggest that before you deploy the values simplify the equation itself so u is zero so hence this is waf a t square u is zero no so this item is zero okay so hence s is half a t square so from here what will happen so ignoring it for the time being so a is to be found out so a is nothing but twice s divided by t square isn't it simple 2 times s divided by t square and now very easy deploy the values in the last step you should deploy the values to eliminate as many errors calculation errors as possible i have seen lot many of you do lots of calculation errors so hence till the last step try to deal with variables and in the last step now you deploy the values what is 5 5 squared so hence if you see this is nothing but uh, 175 uh, am I right? Yeah, 175. Okay, divided by 25. And this is nothing but 7. 7, right? 25, 7 is 175. But you have to also give the units. Always remember, this is error zone. Okay, error zone where you don't write the units. So, uh, units will be in uh, SI units, right? So, 7 meter per second square right so always note error zone what is error zone forgetting units in physics is dangerous 
do not forget to write units right so in physics units are like soul of the entire problem so you don't write unit it's meaningless right so only seven means nothing seven kilos seven meters seven seconds what so hence meter per second square is the acceleration since everything was in SI units everything was in SI units so acceleration will also come out in SI units okay so hence remember this one of the learning is write or deal in variables take it to the last step where uh, now you know no, no more simplification could be possible then you deploy the value of the variables and calculate it this will eliminate some of your calculation errors now let's say if you start doing here itself this step itself you deploy values and end up doing a wrong calculation then the error will percolate down and that's not good okay so hope you understood how to solve this problem thank you